Parisian style Cezanne outfits. Hello everyone, I hope you're all really well. So I thought it was about time that I did a bit of an in-depth look at one of my favorite French brands, Cezanne. Not only sharing all the details of what I like to buy and why, the sizes that I think fit best, and my least worn pieces that haven't really worked out, and of course all my favorites that have. So a little Parisian chic kind of flair for today's video. Hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration. Now helping me feel a little bit more chic and put together today is this stunning jewelry brand, Masoma. So I'll be sharing what I chose with, I might add, some huge Black Friday discounts a little bit later in this video. But first, let me show you what's on this rail. So a good place to start is with the cardigan that I'm wearing, and I've now got this one in four different colors, I think. I've got the Accru, I've got the gray, I've got the blue, and I've got the pink. So yes, four. And the reason I've got so many of them now is because I find it so incredibly versatile to have in my wardrobe. I think personally for me, it's quite a novelty to be able to find a knit that's quite fluffy and obviously made from a blend of alpaca, but that really fluffy, really textural kind of look. I can't normally wear pieces like that because of my poorly skin. So when I find a knit that's really super fluffy like that and it doesn't irritate me at all, I kind of want to stock up in all the different colors they do. Size-wise, I always tend to go for a small in this one, um, and this is the fit. It's quite oversized, nicely so. It's just giving it that slightly slouchy look, but obviously the style of the cardigan still feels very elevated and always seems to polish an outfit when I put it over jeans or I'm wearing it with tailored trousers, or I like wearing them with skirts too, actually. I think that's a really nice combination. So this is definitely a gold star piece of knitwear from Suzanne, in my humble opinion. Um, it's one of my absolute favorites. So staying with knitwear, my other most worn piece would be this one. I've got it now in the Accru, and I think I originally bought it in the Navy. Now the reason this is one of my favorite knits is um, kind of fourfold, really. Firstly, I would say it's because it's been made from 100% organic cotton, which does feel really lovely. And if ever I am getting particularly irritated by knits throughout autumn, winter, I'll often reach for this one. It makes my skin feel nice and cool and back to normal again for a little while. Now throughout spring, I would say I tend to wear the Leontine quite a lot, and I've got that in a couple of different colors. But when it gets to that colder weather, I'm just finding that I need a crew neck shape. I just want to be a little bit more covered up to my neck. And this one absolutely does that for me. It's a nice winter version of the Leontine. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Just a quick mention, if you're new to my channel and you like this video and you're finding my styling tips helpful, I would be very grateful if you'd like to subscribe. As always, I have added a link to be able to do that in the description box below. So next up in terms of shirts and blouses, I've chosen this beautiful pink blouse. Now this is actually new in my wardrobe, but I really wanted to show you because I absolutely love it. And also I do feel like this is going to end up becoming a new most worn Suzanne piece. And the other thing I particularly love about this one is that it's been made from the very sustainable fabric Eco Vero, which is really lovely to see Suzanne using that fabric as well within their collections. I did notice for a while they were using recycled polyester, which I wasn't hugely keen on. Haven't seen that so much recently and they do seem to be switching over to the Eco Vero instead, which I much prefer. So so Suzanne, if you're listening, please stick with that one. And then finally on blouses, the other one I've chosen is the Anne shirt. Now I'm showing this one in the navy with the white spots, but I've also got my favorite, favorite one in the deep camel. That's got the matching tone dots as well. I've got the white, I think I've got it in an aqua as well. Essentially, I love this one so much, I have invested again and again and again. Now in terms of styling this one, you could obviously elevate it further if you wanted to, and depending on what you're doing. So you could leave all the buttons done up and they're actually covered buttons as well, which I think is another nice touch. I've worn this one a couple of times as well with the tie or even adding a little bit of a silk bow and just making a nice knot there at the neckline. That really elevates it. You could undo the buttons a little bit more to make it feel more relaxed and then roll back those sleeves, which miraculously seem to stay in place. Um, as you can see, I think that's from when I took it off last. And all of that together just really encompasses a, a very versatile piece. It's simple, it's just a shirt, but it's those little details that they've really thought about with the covered buttons and the fabric composition that inevitably do make a huge difference in the end to your overall outfit ideas. So as I mentioned, a portion of today's video has very kindly been supported by Miss Soma. It's a jewelry brand that I'm sure lots of you already know, but if you're new to the name, Miss Soma create a really timeless collection of handcrafted jewelry made from 100% recycled 18 karat gold for May and recycled sterling silver. Now, not only have I chose some really beautiful classic pieces, but the icing on the cake will be that there's up to 40% off this Black Friday 
and Cyber Week. As you know, I love to keep my style simple, elegant and refined. So when I saw this square mother of pearl necklace, I knew it would be a really lovely addition to my wardrobe. I really like the contrast of white stone sat against gold hardware. I think it adds a touch of personality to pieces. And I also really like the contrast of stones like this, particularly when I'm wearing my dark but warm neutral tones. So next up, I chose this absolutely beautiful, totally fell in love with this one, this three-tiered necklace, which is actually made up of four different separate gold strands. Now, not only do I love the style of the jewelry they create, but I think the quality is just absolutely stunning. I particularly love these gold waterfall earrings that I've just added into my collection. I seem to have a lot of studs and hoops actually, but I was definitely missing something a little bit more dressy for the evening. And of course, for all those festive parties that I'm hoping to go to. So I thought these ones would fit the bill perfectly. And when it comes to sustainability, Misoma really do stand out too. All of their jewelry is made using recycled materials. They're dedicated to providing 100% carbon neutral deliveries and returns. And on top of that, all of their packaging is recycled too. Hopefully you agree, Misoma are a really lovely jewelry brand and it's been an absolute pleasure to share what I chose with you all today. Don't forget their Black Friday and Cyber Week sale of up to 40% off is online now and it ends on Monday the 27th of November. So at the end of this video, please do take a look at their full collection. The link as always is in the description box below. So let's go on to the trousers that I'm wearing. They're a style that I know and love from before. So when I saw them in the ice blue on their website recently, I knew it was a safe investment piece for me. So these have been made from a blend of wool, which does feel particularly appropriate for autumn, winter. And I think originally what I loved about the style when I bought my first pair of these is that although they're a wide leg, they're done in quite a tailored way. So they still feel very elevated. I think sometimes when you see wide leg trousers, say uh, all over Instagram, if they've gone super wide with the shape they can end up looking a little bit scruffy whereas this pair that Cezanne have created I think they look very tailored and refined and sophisticated I suppose and some of that is down to that lovely pleat that goes down the center here and it's about the fit across the waistband and of course that beautiful selection of colors that they use so this was the original pair um, of these trousers that I bought in the bottle green and I do still wear these an awful lot I've got a matching um, blazer actually to wear it as a suit and I just loved the shape. The one difference I did make with this pair that I'm wearing is that I sized down. So I bought these a size up because I was nervous um, if they were going to come up too tight for me. As it happens, they look a little bit big. So I made sure this time I sized down so that it's fitting quite tight across my tummy and my bottom because of course wool will just stretch a little bit over time. This was actually quite a hard video to get together because when I think about my most worn Cezanne pieces and I'm looking at the, the entirety of my wardrobe, there isn't much that I don't wear very often. So I had to be quite ruthless with my thinking and almost count up the amount of times I've worn any given pair of trousers. We definitely have to include this tailored pair of navy trousers and actually not just in the navy because I've also got these in the grey as well, the charcoal grey. So in contrast to the trousers that I'm wearing, these are a little bit more tailored. They're a bit more of a straight leg. They're also a slightly lower waist than the ones that I'm wearing. And then of course, point of difference, these ones have got a belt hook, whereas these ones haven't. You're still getting that lovely polished appearance with these as well with that lovely pleat detail down the front and down the back. I just find these are a little more slouchy I suppose than the pair that I'm wearing which I think definitely serves its purpose in my wardrobe. It enables me to do something quite dressed up and suited but in a more relaxed manner I suppose. Whereas this pair of trousers particularly in the ice blue do feel a little bit more dressed up. On the flip side of that you could go a bit more Parisian style and add a Mary Jane shoe or perhaps one of the babies. <laughs> which always feels weird calling them babies, but, but you know what I mean, the Cezanne Mary Janes. That looks particularly nice with these and takes it in more of a French chic kind of direction. So if I'm thinking most worn Cezanne pieces, this pair of trousers definitely need to be on my rail. Now a new piece that I've just got in my wardrobe, which has fast become a most worn Cezanne, would be my, where is it? My, ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 
been a long day. It would be my pencil skirt that I got a couple of months ago. Now, if you followed me for a while, you will know that I actually don't really wear skirts very often. So the fact that I've got one that I seem to be wearing on repeat is quite unusual for me. But saying that, I one, love the quality of this one, but two, I'm just really enjoying the style. I mean, it is particularly on trend this season, that hourglass shape pencil skirts that we've been seeing on the catwalk and now filtered down to the high street. But I think the fit of this one really makes it stand out above the rest, uh, along with the fabric composition. It doesn't feel too flimsy and, you know, a bit too bodycon esque it feels a bit more ladylike i hate using that word but it does feel a bit more ladylike and sophisticated now i don't know about you but i am a bit of a blazer lover so much so that i've got quite a collection going from suzanne alone but proof is in the pudding really i just reach for them almost on a daily basis so i know it's always a safe investment for me but when i think about my most worn blazers from suzanne it has got to be these two and they're very similar actually um but just with those tiny points of difference in fact, if I just hold up the two navy ones, you can see how similar they are. Like it could be the same blazer, but there is some important differences. So let me show you. So bar an inch, I suppose, they are about the same length. They're also both double-breasted, but the main difference with these two is the weight of them. So this blazer here with the gold buttons is definitely a little bit heavier. I think this one off the top of my head might have more wool in it than this one. And this one does feel a little bit more drapey when I wear it. I would actually describe this one as more of a jacket rather than a blazer. Although I do wear it as both, I think the weight of it and the style would put it more into that category for me. Whereas I tend to end up using the Christie more like a traditional blazer when I just want to complete an outfit with that final layer and even adding a big winter coat over the top. But as the title of this video is about my most worn Suzanne pieces, it would feel wrong of me to not include them both because I tend to reach for each of them for different occasions. So I love this one as a final layer and I can very easily get get a big chunky knit underneath, maybe a roll neck. I like styling it with flares particularly. I think that I think that balances out the quite boxy looking shape. Whereas this one, I probably mostly wear this with jeans actually, just in that very easy everyday, I suppose Parisian chic kind of look where you just got jeans and nice top and you put a blazer over it. Now, before I get onto my fails, so to speak, of those Cezanne items that didn't really work out well for me, I must of course mention my jeans because out of all of my Suzanne pieces, the, these themselves are probably my most worn piece ever. The irony is with this pair actually that I wasn't going to buy them. I was in their store and was trying a few pieces on and I think it was the shop assistant said, oh, we should try the brute sexy on. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really gonna suit my shape. And then once I tried them on, I just fell in love with them and have worn them again and again and again for a couple of years now. I think for me, I would say they are the perfect pair of straight leg jeans, which which is a title I wouldn't dish out very lightly. They've got the waistband spot on. It's high, but it's not too high. I like how it scoops a little bit more at the back, though it doesn't show my love handles too much. Um, whereas the front is just a teeny tiny bit lower, so you don't feel like you're really strapped into your high-waisted trousers. Um, I would say very true to size on the fit as well. I go for my usual size 28 in those. I really like the tapering of the leg, which is very, very slight. And then the fact that they've done a little bit of a crop. I personally love crop jeans. I don't like going too extreme the other way, but a little bit is actually really flattering. And even when it comes to autumn, winter, I, I would happily style those with my high ankle boots. And I quite like to have that bit of gap there where you can see the shoes starting a little bit higher. I find that quite flattering, actually. It really helps elongate my shape. Now, I have got the crop jeans recently and I have been wearing them an awful lot. They are probably more on trend this season than straight legs. But if you're thinking of finding that perfect pair of straight leg jeans. I couldn't recommend these ones enough. So next up, let me talk about my most worn Suzanne blouse I think I have in my entire wardrobe. No big surprises with this one. You've seen it many times on my channel, I'm sure. And if you're new here, this is a beautiful blouse that I wear on repeat. So I think this is actually the first piece I ever bought from Suzanne um, and actually ends up being one of my most worn. I think it's about the fact that it's been made from 100% silk. 
and yet they managed to keep the price of that really reasonable. I go true to size with this one and yet there's definitely enough room across the bust and the waistband. I never feel like I'm too tight in it or restricted. I do hate that feeling when a shirt pulls a little bit on your chest or your hips. It just makes me feel really uncomfortable. And sleeves too as well. I like sleeves to be a little bit wider for the same reason. I think there's just nothing worse than a sleeve fitting really, really tight against your skin. It just makes you too hot and feel, I don't know. I'm even doing that as I'm thinking about it. I don't like it. Obviously the other benefit with this particular blouse and probably why I reach for it so much is this beautiful trim that it has around the collar and then down the front placket here with this embroidery. I think that's just a really pretty detail. I tend to wear this one in all manner of different ways and I style it with my jeans and I dress it up with a lovely skirt or equally I would pair it with tailored trousers. So it's just incredibly versatile, so much so I would probably call it a staple piece for me in my wardrobe. Mandy's joining us. Hi Mandy. Do. He brought a mouse in the other day, which freaked me out something rotten. I spent most of the evening stood on the sofa begging David to get it and get it out. And he hid under the sofa. And then sadly, Mandu did find him. It wasn't a happy end. <laughs> worst pieces. I should, in fact, I don't really want to call them worst pieces because I love everything Suzanne creates. These are just the items that probably haven't worked out so well for me and I'll explain my reasoning why. So I would have to say this piece. Sorry, Mandy's jumped literally <laughs> onto Abby. My reason for buying this was because I was shopping with my lovely friend Sheena and she tried it on and she looked amazing in it and I thought, oh, I love that blouse. I need that in my wardrobe. And and the truth is, it doesn't suit me as well as it suits her. I think that's the brunt of it, really. I think for me personally, I have avoided higher necks like this with blouses. It's not that it, it's too tight, it doesn't sort of, it's not pulling, it's not irritating me. I'm just not sure I like that look on myself. And again, proof is in the pudding, it sat on the rail, barely getting worn. I mean, I did style it a few times with my straight leg jeans, and I do like that as a combo. And obviously, I think the fabric they've used is beautiful. It's, you know, it's again, like an heirloom piece. It's just not getting the wear from me that it should be. And I do find that really sad to see it on the rail, a beautiful piece not getting worn. So really I need to stick that on vintage, I think. Next up in my least worn Cezanne pieces would have to be this little jersey top uh, that I went for in the black. I think one of the reasons that I haven't worn it so much is that I just don't reach for black very much. Um, apart from this season with my long black coat, I don't think I have many tops at all that are in black. So it's a bit random that I went for that colour. Secondly, although on the model in the picture, and she looks beautiful in it, she's got quite a healthy bust, let's <laughs> say it like that, much better looking bust than I have, and she really fills out the top section. So I think if you're quite busty, it would probably look better on you. With me, I just find that this area here is too spacious and it just looks a bit bland. It just feels too empty. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And also the fact that the length isn't quite coming up long enough. I would like to be able to tuck it in and feel secure that it's going to stay in. I hate it when things start riding up and you see a bit of side bulge and blah, that's not me. So yeah, that's unfortunately not got an awful lot of wear. Now I talked earlier about the fact that I don't actually wear many skirts at all, which probably explains why this next piece is one of my least worn Cezanne items. And even more random, I went for it in length leopard print, which I never ever wear. What was I thinking? I do like the shape of the skirt. I think what I'd really like to see from Suzanne is a longer, almost maxi skirt in this fabric composition, but perhaps a plain fabric. I think that is definitely something I would find myself wearing, um, like the Arquette skirts that I've got. I am wearing those an awful lot at the moment, but the midi length probably isn't really my cup of tea unless it's a pencil shape, which I am reaching for. And then of course, going for it in the leopard print, which is not a print I traditionally wear. Saying that, it did look really nice with a big roll neck jumper and kind of making it feel more casual. I think that worked nicely, but it's certainly one of my least worn pieces on my rail, if I'm honest. Having only reached for it a couple of times, it, it probably doesn't deserve a spot in my wardrobe, unfortunately. It's not to say I don't like any of these pieces, by the way, that I'm saying are my least worn. It's just me personally, what I've found, I'm not exactly reaching for. There is no right or wrong to this. It's just a matter of um, personal style, really. And this beautiful suit is unfortunately one of my other least worn pieces 
dresses or suit from Cezanne, which was a real shame actually, because it was quite nice to have a print in my wardrobe for once. And I do really like the print. Obviously it's subtle, but having a check in the mix was really nice to be able to reach for. Going for it in a black, white, gray was obviously very versatile. And that as a blazer with jeans does look really, really nice. And the other thing that I found particularly frustrating with this suit is that I found the fabric a little bit itchy, which is unusual for Cezanne actually, because the trousers I'm wearing are wool and these are wool, but they must have used a different manufacturer or something because these ones drive me a little bit potty. So sadly, for a little bit of a concoction of reasons, those were two of my least worn pieces as well. And that's it all of my favorite Parisian style Cezanne outfits that I have thoroughly enjoyed wearing on repeat. And a few that were perhaps a little bit of a magpie buy for me. But hopefully my fails will be your gains. And this video has given you lots of insight and outfit ideas of how to shop this beautiful French brand. Don't forget to take a look at that beautiful Misoma collection with that huge Cyber Week sale. The link is in the description box below. Now I've got a busy week with Black Friday goings on, so I am off for a well-earned cup of tea. But I shall be back on Sunday with lots more styling advice and outfit ideas, so hopefully you will join me then. Take care.